was first introduced to plant medicine, it started in my childhood and it was pretty much two opposing phases that happened in my life. So it first started with my abuela and she introduced me to plant medicine that is deeply rooted within Caribbean and African cultures. And she carried this wisdom behind plant medicine this immense amount of knowledge and healing power that's associated with it. And so my abuela was able to teach me the spirituality and the science behind plant medicine and how it's able to heal people, whether it's healing them with chronic diseases, but also healing them and putting a lot of emphasis on the science of health instead of solely focused on the science of disease. And the other side, we have to rewind to the year 1998, 1999, I was in elementary school and it was the D.A.R.E. program. So I had a police officer come into the classroom and talk about why we have to say no to drugs. And it was really the introduction to the war on plants. And for me, I feel like that was the beginning of me being drawn to controversy. So growing up in the 90s, we saw ads everywhere, especially on television about this is your brain on drugs, which you would see an egg in a frying pan. And because I was a kid at that time, I would literally take in that message and think to myself that I've never seen anyone's brains look like that. So I questioned what was being taught in the D.A.R.E. program, but it also sparked my interest in becoming a teacher at that time. So, you know, when you're a kid and people are going up to you saying, what do you want to be when you grow up? My answer was to always be a teacher. And so I have a memory of my mom buying me a blackboard and chalk and my students were either my Barbie dolls or they were my babysitter's kids. And I have a specific memory of being at my babysitter's house and teaching her kids about drugs. And I remember the babysitter yelling from the other room, Jess, I don't want my kids learning about drugs. Let's stop talking about drugs. So here I am 20 plus years later, talking about drugs, providing education and how to use it safely and publishing research studies about drugs.